Hello, I'm Adrian Kelly. I'm the Regional Operations Director South for Mannheim. Welcome to the first edition of Dealer Auction News. We'll be looking back over quarter one and how the market was, and then looking through quarter two with some predictions and strategies about how to best deal with it. Well, the first quarter of 2013 might not have felt like a record from the rostrum, but our statistics show uh, that with an average selling price of £7,500, it was actually the highest since we started Mannheim Market Reports in 2008. Volumes have remained consistently high into Mannheim in the first quarter of 2013. January was a record month for units sold. Um, February, still strong volumes coming in. And March, again, with the registration change, we only saw a slight softening of, of um, conversion rates just coming through Easter. Quarter one's always a, a good month for sellers. I think the balance will swing slightly towards the buyers, as is usual for the season in quarter two. And I think the, the quality of the car um, will continue to be an issue as the market toughens up a little bit. In 2012, we saw our online buyer base increase 20% month on month. And this uh, market hasn't reached maturity yet, and we're con continuing to see some massive growth. So it's really important that dealers get their information to us at the earliest opportunity, quality information, so we can get the cars online at the earliest opportunity and make the best of that market. It may surprise some people uh, that our analysis shows that the two most searched vehicles on the Mannheim website were the BMW 3 Series and the Mercedes C-Class, whereas uh, you might expect it might be a more volume-selling vehicle like a Fiesta or a Focus or a Golf, uh, and hopefully an encouraging sign that there's a little bit more money out there in the market than, than we expected. Key highlights. It's been a strong quarter one for the used vehicle wholesale market with a record price achieved of £7,500 for wholesale vehicles. Volumes in quarter two will remain high but will be becoming more of a buyer's market as is seasonal. Online demand continues to grow at 20% month on month and consideration of the online buyer's needs will be vital for success into quarter two.